Welcome to Tech Extra Net. I wanted to talk about this article. As you'll see here, so many accounts are being leaked or breached over onto the internet, meaning that there are hackers that are aware of the certain accounts and email addresses of people's systems. And what that does is it causes the ability for the hackers to be able to attempt to attack these accounts. And what we've seen happen time and time again is that the sender gets hacked and sends a similar hacking email to the whole address book of the person's account then people start seeing legitimate emails coming to them in the form of possibly a file sharing request or some form of request that says hey please click here I'm trying to share a document with you the person sees this clicks on it punches in sometimes their six digit MFA code, the multi-factor code, and then sure enough, the hacker now has access to that email account. Now, why am I bringing this up? You might have to get important documents and send them over to a loan officer, let's say. You might have to get your tax return documents sent over to a mortgage agent. You might have to send a document to the bank. There's many different things that you might have to do that includes sending important documents. And what agitates me is that a lot of the people that were asking me for documents over the years just say, hey, reply to my email, it's really secure. It's not really secure. Because once you send that document to them, if it's in their email, it could be sitting there for months, years, you know, who knows. And then on top of that, if they fall victim to these breaches and attacks, then essentially whatever you gave them could actually end up being sent to a hacker or a hacker could intercept it and take it all. So the reason that I wanted to bring this up is that you need to make sure that you encrypt anything that you're sending. Now, if these are legitimate companies, they should have secure sharing portals. So for example, Microsoft offers email encryption as a service here that you can get. We set it up for a lot of our clients. You can actually get other services like Encrypt Titan from Titan HQ. There's also the ability to share documents securely with a team using something like Dropbox or OneDrive. Those are relatively good, but essentially if those accounts get hacked as well, then they can get in and get to your documents as well. So it's something to watch out for. And so you might go do a search and say, hey, what can I do to encrypt documents and files? You can use something like a 7-zip or even a WinZip. And that is one possible method. Kind You somewhat have to know how to install and use those applications. And so I started thinking, what could be done so you could look into other paid tools there are a bunch of free tools and uh, you can look at you know uh, pc mag for example has got all these tools that you can look up and see the cost and how they operate and what they like uh, best but i wanted to introduce a solution that i now have created uh, it's right now currently only for windows so if there's interest in mac please let me know and I could actually uh, port the code over to operate on a Mac. And so what it is, it's called the Tech Extra Net File Encryption Tool for Windows, and you can get it for free right now. So if we don't wanna see the free part, you click on digital downloads on our site and you can actually download it for $5.99 and use it as much as you want. This is the first iteration of the solution. Depending on if there's good feedback and people wanted to do more things, we can go ahead and expand it. But essentially this tool will take a password of your choice along with dragging the file in and then just hitting encrypt and that's it. So it's very easy, very nice. You can click on either encrypt your app here or you can go do sign up now. And then all you need to do is go down and type in your email address and sign up and you'll be sent a download link uh, to say thank you for signing up. And the download link will be the software completely for free. And we're going to go ahead here and show you how to install it and how it operates. And so it's going to be a file here that you download. So once you download it, you just double click it. It's going to say welcome. We're just going to go ahead and click on next. I agree. And then it's going to go place the files in C program files. And you're done. That's installed. In the uh, start menu, you'll see 
a tech extra net encryptor or install so just click start type in tech and you'll see it we'll go ahead and double click it okay here we'll go ahead and show you how to you know, encrypt a test file we'll go ahead and drag this is just a picture you can see what it says is this is how essentially it'll look in your start menu we'll go ahead and take this picture of that drag it into here you'll notice that it placed it as the name of the file right here or you can also browse to it if you want to but what's important is that wherever that file is sitting is where it will be encrypted here we'll type in test and then in the bottom we'll hit encrypt and you'll notice here this says file encrypted successfully saved as one.png.encrypted. So right now, one is still here, untouched. You don't have to worry about your data. It's not gonna be hurt. But then this is now encrypted. And this file then can actually then be sent off. So you could take it, you know, drag it into an email, email it to someone. Then all they have to do is uh, download and install the tech extra net encryptor as well they click on decrypt they'll drag this encrypted file here and let me rename this one to two just so we have it and i'll type in test here and we'll hit decrypt and there it is now as number one and you'll notice it is back here and it's legitimately back to normal and it'll tell you that it saved it as one.png. So let's say a hacker comes in and attacks that email account of a loan officer or someone that you're doing something important with. If they get into the email, they'll have access to all this stuff. They'll be able to download this one.png.encrypted. Once they get it, they will not know what this decryption password is. So I suggest definitely not including the decryption password in the same email or message or any Thing related to the actual file that you're sending so make sure that you either call the person and give them the code text them the code or the decryption password or possibly send a separate email unrelated on a different time um, you know either way you can establish a password ahead of time with the person but in other words they will have to then go ahead and you know drag the file in and then type in the password and decrypt it in order for it to function. And then hopefully they then take it and don't email it off to somebody else. Hopefully they actually you know, store the document safely in one of their secure repositories. And if this is someone you're dealing with at a company or at a bank, you should ask those questions. You don't assume that they're doing the right thing. You want to make sure that they store your data someplace secure, that it's backed up, that it's also not available just for hackers to come in and check. If someone insist on you sending them emails more than likely it's not secure even if they tell you it's secure the only time it possibly is secure is if you notice something interesting pops up in outlook maybe that has like a little key um, it is protected in a way but if they get hacked more than likely they'll be able to get to the data so essentially you still want something more secure if there's another system that they send you the email but it directs you to click on a link on a portal to drop the file something similar to that then that's possibly secure and you'll notice here that this tech extra day encryptor setup is an exe it's all in one file so you could essentially separately send it to them they can get it tell them maybe to you know delete this attachment or email message from their email system at that point then they can just run and install it they can also go and also sign up on the page if they need to you can also if you have trouble sending it to them which you, you possibly might it's not guaranteed you can also um, off the bat compress it so you can say compress it to a zip file that way if you need to it'll just come out as a zip they'll unzip it and then install it but essentially you need this to install it next 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 finished then you run it and then boom you just pick your password drop your file there's some explanation of what kind of encryption is being used and you can get to our uh, videos on our YouTube site right here but that's just all extra things in there and hope this video helped if you have questions let us know and actually i'd prefer to see if once you use it let me know how it's helped you or if you've had any issues with it or if you want added on features that make that the pro version we were thinking about possibly encrypting full folders if you want it as well as you know many different other features that we could do so let us know and i hope uh, this video helped